My name is Chris. Welcome to Bit Unusual. Today we're going to be making a makeshift torch. Create it using IV tubes that you usually get from medical supply, some calcium carbide that's going to be mixed with water to create acetylene, a gas that's ignitable. One extra piece of material we're going to need is a needle, in particular an IV catheter. All right, um, and also a different type of medical supply, one that's used for IVs. Uh, this one in particular, we can modulate the amount of gas that's coming in and out. It's usually used for liquids, but believe it or not, liquids and gas are similar in regards that they're both fluids. One thing we wanna do is drill in the top of this container the same size, if not smaller, than our IV tube. The reason is, is because if it's smaller, we can get a really, really nice tug fit that we can, of course, cure with our hot glue. Um, that way, when we close our system together, we're not gonna get any leakage. It's all right to be messy. You want to be sure that this is going to seal really, really well. While that top dries, or the bottom dries rather, let's do the top. So the amount of water here matters because if I put my top, the one that I already drilled a hole and put my glue on, um, I want to make sure that the tip of the nozzle does not go into the water. So as you can see, I have enough space in here so that doesn't occur. Um, the next step is literally just prepare for this gas to escape, meaning going through the tubing and escaping out in the needle. Looks really nice. That should come in like that. Nice fit. And the problem with that is that this particular needle I have doesn't seem like it has any grooves for my screw here. So what I'm gonna do is, just to make sure everything is safe, so put some glue in there, doesn't hurt. Now that I have my needle out, I'm now gonna prepare for the acetylene gas. So here comes my rock. The reaction's happening very slowly, as you can see, there's some bubbles forming. The bubble system is full of acetylene gas, but there's also this type of debris going on here. The water's getting dirty, believe it or not, that's calcium hydroxide, and some of it is escaping to go through, obviously, into our tubing. Um, what we're gonna do now is just kinda mix it up a little bit more to get the reaction going. So now that I have the reaction going pretty well, what I'm going to do now is light the tip of my needle, which has all the gas coming out, and it should be able to give me a good torch. There we go. So as you can see, now I have a really good stream of flame coming out and the pressure system is going to be modulated using this. All right, so if I bring it down, the, the, the flame goes down, as you can see, if I bring it up, I'm allowing more gas to escape and it's giving me a good stream. Another way to do it is by increasing the reaction, which I can mix around. And as you can see, it gets brighter, it gets stronger, right? I don't know if you can hear it, but the gas is escaping extremely fast. Now you might think, what is this useful for? Well, I can do a lot of things with it. I can now weld certain things. Believe it or not, the temperature of this flame gets so hot that it can melt metal in certain cases. I think this is awesome. Just being able to control the flow of gases coming in and out and seeing a visual representation of that, which I think is just amazing science. 